staggering two-thirds of Queensland has been officially declared a flood zone, with the disaster sparking emergencies across the state. Near Mackay, a ten-year-old boy and his mother were forced to cling to trees for hours, trapped in a raging creek. I seen a brother holding onto a tree, and then went down, mum was holding onto a tree a bit further down. Struggling to keep a grip, a fireman swam to him with a rope and life jacket. More homes and businesses have gone under. More residents evacuated to safety. It's going to take a long time to recover. This region is home to some of the biggest mining operations in the country and it's clear that some of them are going to be out of operation for anywhere up to three to six months. Even before opening, the market knew it was going to the cleaners. Within seconds, down it went, into the red. Stocks in free fall. Overnight, Europe triggered the global slide, on average down 5 to 7 per cent. Nervous Asian markets were next, recording similar falls, including in China. All eyes now on the US. Wall Street resumes trading tonight after a public holiday. And it's been a long night for Koshi. Oh. He's, uh, he's been up most of it watching the world finance markets. Ten seconds summary. Um, Dow Jones Index in America opened 400 points down. 400 oh. points down. And then the Federal Reserve, the central bank in America, whipped in an emergency meeting, cut official interest rates, not a quarter of a percent, not a half a percent, three quarters of a percent, unheard of. Breaking news just coming in from the United States. The tragic news, the death of Heath Ledger. He's been found dead in his Manhattan home this morning. They've ruled out foul play. Uh, it, suicide is unlikely. This is mostly uh, a case of an accidental overdose, but they do need to pinpoint the cause of death. It's not just his fans that are really sad. We've heard some of Hollywood's greats have, have come out and paid tribute. I, I'd give back all my awards and my nominations just to have him back. My heart goes out to his family and this kid. He's kind of a kid. Do you have any words? I don't know. You have to remember that none of us are immune to tragedy. And when times like these happen, we do have to come together and pray for his family. So we certainly will be. Heath has touched so many people on so many different levels during his short life, but few had the pleasure of truly knowing him. He was a down-to-earth, generous, kind-hearted, life-loving, unselfish individual who was extremely inspirational to many.